this is a nuvo portable power bank it has a fold out plug to charge directly off of a wall socket and it has three built in cables for charging as well as a magnetic charger for like watches and a little lcd display uh, it says it will do 22.5 watts over USB-C power delivery, and it is a 10 amp hour or 10,000 milliamp hour power bank. Um, this particular one is colored purple. I was sent this to review for free. If you wanted to purchase it, it would cost you $40. They have not paid me for my review, and my opinions remain my own. So in the box, we have the power bank and a small instruction manual. All right, and it has a little protective covering over the watch charging area. So it has a fold-out plug for plugging directly into a wall outlet to charge. It says it'll take four hours to charge that way. Um, and if you charge it via the input-output, the USB-C port, it says it'll take two and a half hours if your charger is powerful enough. And of course, it has a nice little USB-A port, so if you have some device that requires a USB-A port to some proprietary charging interface, you can plug in a USB-A cable or a USB-C cable as an input-output cable. There's only one button on the device on the side here. Um, push that button, and it pops up and says, hey, I'm at 79% charged from the factory. So let's go try this guy out, see how much power I get out of it through the various ports, um, and see if I can do more than one port at the same time. Okay, I put this guy through its paces, and overall, I'm pretty happy with it. There's a few gotchas. Um, so I like the fact that it has these integrated cables. You know, it's really nice not to have to carry a separate cable, and we have a wide variety here. So you have USB-C, you have lightning, and this little handle thing here comes in as a micro USB cable. And those are still useful. I have several you know, Bluetooth headsets and things that still need a cable like this to charge. So having that in there is great. Um, you know, this is a 10 amp hour battery, uh, basically 38 watt hours total. And I've discharged it out to a load and it was able to provide 32 watt hours out to a load, which is very reasonable with, you know, inefficiencies of converting from the 3.7 volts up to five volts. Um, and it took 42 watt hours to recharge this. So it does meet its power storage specification. I do believe it has a 10 amp hour battery in there. I was not able to test the iWatch magnetic charger. Uh, I have no reason to believe it wouldn't work. Now with the USB-C in-out port or this USB-C cable, according to the specifications, it's supposed to be able to do 12 volts USB-C power delivery. I plugged this guy into two different devices that I know will work at the 12 volt level, and it never provided 12 volts. The max I got out of this guy was nine volts at about two amps. Um, so if you absolutely require a 12 volt output, I would avoid this guy. Most phones, however, charge at the nine volt level if they do power delivery or, or fast charge at all. Um, so when this guy is plugged into a USB-C port, it will do nine volts input. Um, and basically it will charge at the nine volt level going in. And you do have a little lightning bolt symbol that appears when you're charging or charging a device or charging the power bank at the um, power delivery faster charging level. Now this guy has a fold out plug-in and it's designed for US 110 volt outlets. According to the specifications, it's a universal input, so it'll do 240 volts, 50 hertz, 60 hertz. Um, so theoretically with an adapter, you could plug this into a European outlet. I have not tested that. Um, the only kind of hesitation I have here is that it claimed it could do 12 volts and I haven't been able to find it doing 12 volts and so I don't know if I I want to be careful plugging this into a 240 volt source the first time just to make sure that it really is a universal input now because of these plugs 
you can use this as a power adapter. You plug it into the wall, it will draw eight watts. So it's not a fast USB charger, it's an eight watt USB charger. It'll charge the power bank, or you can have a phone plugged into this guy while it's plugged into the wall. It'll charge the phone, it'll charge this guy up. Um, if the phone is drawing more than eight watts, it's gonna discharge the battery until the phone is fully charged. Once the phone is fully charged, it'll charge the battery back up. So that feature may allow you to leave at home a wall charger. If you're staying in a hotel where you have overnight 12 hour charging, um, the fact that this is only eight watts doesn't matter. It'll charge this guy up, it'll charge your devices, um, you're fine. Now, when it's plugged into the wall charging, you will not get nine volt power delivery. Everything's limited to five volts when it's charging because this guy basically charges at five volts internally. Also, if you have two devices plugged in, say you have something plugged into this USB-A port or something plugged into the micro USB port, if that's a five volt device, the USB-C port or the USB-C cable are also limited to five volts. And so you can plug in five different devices and it will charge all five of them at five volts, but the three amps is split among them all. So none of the devices are gonna be charging super fast. But you know, if you have a lots of small devices that need various cables to charge, you can plug two, three, four, even all five. I've, I've tested five different devices in here at once. Um, and they'll all charge at five volts, um, but, you know, it's not going to charge them super fast because all that power is split between all the devices. So at this price point, I feel it's a pretty reasonable price. You got, you know, magnetic charging here for iWatches. You have lots of different cable outputs. You have the ability to charge it from a wall socket. Um, and it has a USB-A port out. You can charge it via USB-C. That's the fastest way to charge it. Um, so it has a nice set of features and it has the battery capacity it claims to have. It's a nice form factor. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I think at this price point, it's, a, it's not an amazing steal. It's not a super great buy, but it's a pretty reasonable purchase at that price. Now at $40, you're also looking at comparing it to a big power bank that's 20 amp hour power bank. Um, and so the trade-off here is you get twice the battery capacity, but you have to provide your own cables. Um, you know, this guy has plenty of ports, um, you know, so if you bring some cables, you can, you know, charge three or four different devices at once with it. This guy can do USB power delivery to a little bit higher. I've seen it do 12 volt power delivery output. It has a little higher capacity. Um, you know, so in that $40 price range, you're really trading these kind of small, thin travel features, lower capacity, against a big Herkin block that can really store a lot of power. Um, and that's a pretty decent trade-off. I use something like this at home. Um, you know, if I'm powering something outdoors, I wanna take some USB power out to it, I'll use this guy. But traveling, this guy looks a lot nicer, especially if you're trying to travel super light where you can leave your USB charger at home. Now, I, I'd never do that if I was using a laptop because this doesn't have enough power to charge up a laptop. Um, but if you're only traveling with a phone, you could use this as your only charger as long as you're not trying to charge really quickly at outlets. Um, if you have outlets where overnight you can charge things up, this would work for you. But as an eight watt charger, it, it's not really a great charger. It's more of a power bank with a little eight watt mini charger built in as a convenience feature.